Yo, what is up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with a video tutorial. And today we're gonna be talking about clipping, specifically about Nevo from SoundSpot and why you need to be using it on your master channel. I've already done a really in-depth video tutorial on Plugin Boutique's YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the video description if you really wanna dive in deep. Something was really lost in that video and that's why I'm making this one. One of the main reasons to use a clipper is to get things louder, but at the same time adding character. By its very nature, when you clip audio peaks, what you're doing is lopping off the top. And when you do that, you add distortion and saturation. Okay. So some of the comments in that first video were, you know, I thought the loudness wars were over, quote unquote. And that is true. And I've never been a fan of the loudness wars, but that doesn't mean you still, you, you should just make your track super quiet. You're still looking for great dynamics. You're still looking for a decent quality and sound. If you upload a really loud track to YouTube and a really quiet track to YouTube and then play those back to back, YouTube's normalization isn't going to correct perfectly. That's why you still hear quiet tracks on YouTube or quiet videos on YouTube. It's got a lot to do with a lot more than just quote unquote loudness, okay? But clipping is about getting things loud and adding character by means of saturation and distortion, which are added when you clip off the tops of your audio signals. Nevo does a fantastic job of cutting off those tops, making things louder, and still retaining dynamics. It's even got a built-in transient shaper. It's not really a transient shaper, it just adds back in transients after you lop off the top. So really you're getting the best of two worlds there. You're getting the lopped off signal, but then you're adding transient back in to make things punchy and remain punchy. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and play what I have right now, and I'm gonna bypass Nevo, and then turn it on and turn it off, and tell me if you hear the difference between the original and the other one. And I've already turned down the output gain here. I wanna point this out. Relatively, they're the same, but you'll be able to hear the character being added by Nevo clipping the audio signal and then boosting the rest. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm absolutely positive that you heard a difference. And it wasn't that the audio was getting louder necessarily, it just sounds more warm, it sounds punchier, and it sounds like it's fuller. It sounds like the, the actual sounds, the elements of the track are cohesive and fitting together. And that all has to do with clipping. Now, Nevo has a ton baked into it, which allow you to control that sound. As you can see here, I'm crushing this sound 100%. I'm adding in the second level of transient addition. You can go up to three or even bypass that. Let's go ahead and just listen to what that sounds like. Just that one effect, which is essentially a toggle between four different stages, can really transform the final output of your master. Now, of course, I'm saying master a lot, and that's where I tend to find myself using Nevo is on the master output, but you can obviously use this on anything, individual channels and so on and so forth. The way this works is there are actually a soft clipper over here, which is a 16 band soft clipper. And then there is a hard clipper over here, which is just one band over the entire frequency spectrum. This one is going to be a little bit more subtle and a little bit more surgical, while this one's more broad and really kind of in your face. So if I go ahead and pull this down and pull this one all the way up. So right now we're we're on drive 100%. And the cool thing about this drive control, by the way, first of all, you have 
three different flavors. And then drive is actually two different types of saturation. Below 50% is going to be a tape style saturation, and then above 50% is going to be a tube style. So again, this is gonna be more aggressive, and it's a completely different saturation than down here. So just keep that in mind. But really, that doesn't make a difference or shouldn't make a difference to you. Uh, that's just something behind the scenes. The only thing that matters and should matter to you is how it sounds in the end, okay? Uh, any of these parameters, I would suggest it's not super important you know what they do. The only thing that matters each and every time you're making music is how it sounds in the end. Curve, pretty straightforward. If I go ahead and boost this up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on warm. I mean, that's really gnarly when it's at negative 100. But the curve is essentially like a tilt filter where it's going to push up the low end in the negative values or push up the high end in the positive values, which is pretty straightforward and a great way to rebalance the mix if you're using it on the master channel like I am here. And as I said over here, we've got Crush, which functions as a bit crusher. And you gotta be careful here because anything you do, uh, you're gonna have to adjust the output gain here. It's really making a difference there on that snare hit, on that crunchy snare hit. It's already crunchy to begin with, but it's just adding so much more crunch. I'm digging it. So the really cool thing, or another really cool thing about Nevo is the fact that you can run the soft clipper and the hard clipper together at once to really, really clip the sound and really transform the overall transients and dynamics of the audio itself. And again, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is a great way to get things louder, but to keep your dynamics and even add color by clipping off that signal and adding that distortion saturation and even some bit crushing here. So example, I'm gonna come in here, I've got Loop Cloud Drum running. If I could just come in and let me see where, if I just solo the sub, imagine if we had Nevo just on the sub here. Or maybe at the kick as well. It's really adding a bunch of upper frequency content. Again, things that that help with beyond making it louder is you can hear that on lower quality speakers like your cell phone, your laptop, and so on. Having that raspy, crunchy warmness to your sub and your kick is just gonna help that stand out on those uh, mobile devices and so on and so forth. So Clipper is a great tool for mastering for a number of different reasons. And I just wanted to hit that here in this video because it seemed to be lost in the video I did for Plugin Boutique. But if you're looking for more information on the Clipper or on Nevo specifically, I'm going to leave a link to it. I'm going to embed it on the blog. Go ahead and check it out. It's a really, really great plugin for mastering. And, you know, I know the loudness wars are over, but they're really not. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not going to see anyone uh, like completely compressed to crap. But, you know, it's still important to get your track at a competitive loudness range. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.